What's up, you freaking geniuses? All right, so in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to multiply exponents with different bases, all right? And the formula we're gonna use for this one is gonna be e to the x times b to the x is equal to a times b to the x, all right? So this is just saying, so if you have two different numbers multiplied together and they both have the same exponent, you're gonna multiply the two numbers together and then at the very end, you're gonna raise it to the exponent, all right? So that's all this is saying. I'm gonna do some examples, some positive and negative examples, and then I think this is gonna start making a lot more sense for you, all right? So let's jump into this first example. Okay, so if we had three squared times four squared, this is gonna equal, well, remember, we're gonna multiply these two together. So three times four, three times four, and then we're gonna raise them to this exponent, all right? We're just gonna leave it the same. So two. Okay, so what is three times four? Well, that's just 12, right? Positive 12, and then raised to that two. So 12 squared is equal to a positive 144. All right, so I think that's pretty straightforward. So let's try another example. Negative three cubed times one cubed. Okay, so again, we're gonna multiply our numbers together, our bases together, right? So we have negative three times one, and then we're gonna keep the same exponent. So we got a three, got a three, so we're gonna put a three, right? So negative three times one, that's equal to negative three. Now negative three raised to the third power is equal to negative 27, right? Because we got negative three times negative three times negative three. Negative three times negative three, that's positive nine. And then this positive nine times this negative three is equal to, well, a positive times a negative is a negative. And then nine times three is equal to 27, All right? Just in case you're wondering how we got there. All right, so let's go to the next example. So we're gonna start using some negative exponents as well. All right, so if I had negative two raised to the negative two, times four raised to the negative two. So again, we're gonna multiply our bases together, right? So negative two times four, and then we're gonna raise it to the exponent, right? So we got a negative two here, got a negative two here, so we're gonna keep the negative two. Now, what's negative two times four? That's negative eight, and then our exponent is negative two, right? So we have a negative exponent, what do we do? We just put this whole thing over one, and then we're gonna flip the whole thing, the whole fraction, and make this positive. All right, so we're gonna flip this, right? So we're gonna have a one on top, and then this base, what's our base? Negative eight, right? So we keep the base, negative eight. But we change the exponent, okay? The exponent's the only thing we change. So we have a negative two here, so that becomes a positive two down here. Now we can simplify this, right? So now we have one over what's negative eight squared? Well, negative eight times negative eight is positive 64, right? So we have one over 64. That's your answer. All right, so let's do another one with some negative numbers and exponents, okay? I'm just gonna flip this around a little bit. So what if we had two to the negative three times negative one? To the negative three. So we're just gonna multiply our bases together, right? So two times negative one, and then we have a negative three here, got a negative three here, so we're gonna keep it negative three. And then simplified, two times negative one, that's negative two, and then we keep this negative three, right? Now, what do we do when we have a negative exponent? Well, we're gonna do the same thing that we did up here. We're gonna put the whole thing over one, flip it, and then make the exponent positive, okay? Those are the three little steps you follow when you have a negative exponent. So this is gonna be one over negative two, right? Remember the negative, bring it down. Negative two to the positive three. And now we can solve, right? So we got one over negative two cubed is negative eight. 
So here is your answer. Okay, so we're going to do one last example. So we have negative 4 to the negative 2 times negative 3 to the negative 2. Oh, the humanity. Look at all those negatives. Okay, but we know what to do, right? So we have our bases, right? Negative 4 and negative 3. So we're going to multiply those together. Negative 4 times negative 3. And we got a negative 2. We got a negative 2. So we're going to keep our negative 2. Okay, so negative 4 times negative 3. What is that? That's positive 12, right? And then we're going to bring our negative 2 right over. Now we have a negative exponent, right? So our last step is put this whole thing over 1 and we're going to flip it, right? So I'm going to continue this right here, okay? So we're going to flip it. So we're going to have a 1 on top and we're going to have a 12, right? Positive 12, right? We have a positive 12 here, so we keep the positive 12 raised to a positive 2, right? Because we changed this from a negative to a positive. All right, so we got 1 over 12 squared, which is equal to 1 over 12 times 12, or 144. Now, I'm going to do another video covering fractions more in depth, but I want to show you one quick example here. Okay, so let's try this problem. 1 half raised to the second power times 3 raised to the second power. All right, so what are we going to do here? Well, again, nothing changes. It's still the same steps. So we're going to multiply our bases together. So what two bases do we have here? We have 1 half and 3. All right, so we're going to multiply 1 half times 3. Okay, and then the exponent, we have a 2 here. We have a 2 here. So we're going to keep the 2. Okay, now how am I going to multiply 1 half and 3 together? Well, it's actually easier if we multiply two fractions together. So we have a fraction here in 1 half. How can we change 3 into a fraction? Well, we can just put it over 1. And we can do that because it's the same thing as dividing by 1. And what's 3 divided by 1? Well, it's still just 3, right? So putting any number over 1 or dividing by 1 is an easy way to change our number into a fraction, right? because it doesn't change the value of our number. All right, so let me rewrite this here. So now we have 1 half times 3 over 1. Okay, and don't forget, we still have our exponent here, this 2 right here. Okay, so now we can multiply our fractions together. So how do we do that again? Well, you just multiply the top together and you multiply the bottom together. Okay, so let's start with the top. What's 1 times 3? That's going to equal 3. Right? And then we have the bottom, 2 times 1, that's equal to 2. Okay, so now we finally have this 3 over 2, and then we still have our exponent out here, right? This 2. So don't forget to bring it over. Okay, so how do you apply an exponent to a fraction? Well, it's pretty simple. I'll just rewrite it here really quick. So we have 3 over 2 squared, right? 2. Okay, so all you're going to do is apply the exponent to the top number and the bottom number. So let me show you how that looks. So for example, here we would have 3 raised to the second power over 2 raised to the second power. Okay, so you can see I applied this 2, I applied it to the top and to the bottom. All right, so now we can simplify this one last time. So we have 3 squared on top, so that's the same thing as 3 times 3, which is 9. And then that's going to go over 2 squared, which is the same thing as 2 times 2, which is 4. Then this would be your final answer, 9 over 4. Okay, guys, so that's how you multiply numbers that have different bases but the same exponent. So I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you still got questions, leave them in the comment section below, and I will be more than happy to try and help you out. There are more exponent topics and a whole algebra playlist attached at the end of the video. So if there's anything else you need to check out, definitely check it out and I'll see you there.